Hi, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, a person was shot and killed in Chattanooga on Sunday. The shooting happened around 6.30 p.m. on East 25th Street. WRCB reports the victim died at the hospital. A man was arrested on the scene, and police say he is a person of interest. We'll have more details as they're available at timesfreepress.com. A woman was killed in a three-car crash on Shalford Road over the weekend. Officers say a driver hit two cars on July 5th. The first rolled over. The second collision was head-on and killed 73-year-old Beatrice Lambden. The other two drivers had minor injuries. An investigation into the crash is ongoing. An elderly man was found dead under a bridge in South Chattanooga over the weekend, and police say the death is suspicious. The man was identified as 65-year-old Stephen Bell. Bell was reported missing last week after his door was found unlocked with his television still on. Authorities say he used a wheelchair to get around, but his wheelchair was left in his yard and his body was found a mile away. An investigation is ongoing. A pregnant woman from East Tennessee is missing in California. Authorities are looking for 19-year-old Erin Corwin. Corwin is three months pregnant and is a native of Oak Ridge. Her grandparents live in Chattanooga. Corwin had been living on a military base in 29 Palms, California, where her husband is stationed. Anyone with information about where she might be is asked to call the police. Authorities are investigating what appears to be a murder-suicide in Sequatchie County. The sheriff's office says a couple was found dead inside their home just outside Dunlap. Sheriff Ronnie Hitchcock says it appears the husband killed his wife before turning the gun on himself. We'll have more details as they're available at timesfreepress.com. A 20-year-old was shot to death on the 4th of July. It happened on Clearwater Road in McMinn County. Sheriff Joe Guy says Tyler Womack went to a neighbor's property across the street from his home in Athens. Womack's grandmother later found him there dead of a gunshot wound. No suspects have yet been named. Erlanger Health System has announced plans to auction off Hutchison Medical Center. Erlanger has filed foreclosure proceedings against the Catoosa County Hospital. It's part of an effort to recoup about $22 million that Erlanger loaned to Hutchison during the two years it managed the hospital. If Erlanger gets its way, Hutchison will be auctioned to the highest bidder on the first Tuesday in August. A family of nine is homeless following a fire at their home in Hickson. It happened early Sunday morning. Authorities say a woman who got up to feed a baby found a car on fire in their garage. She and another family member pushed the car out of the garage, but it was too late and the fire spread through the house. All five adults and four children were able to get out safely. A 90-year-old man has been charged with molesting a 14-year-old girl. Police say the man knew exactly what he was doing when he invited the girl into his bedroom. The sheriff says Thomas Hoyt Tucker of Somerville asked the girl to look out the window and make sure his wife was still outside. Then, according to a report, he told her he wanted to see her breasts, groped her, and he also grabbed her bottom. The sheriff's office says the girl was related to Tucker. He's been arrested on a charge of sexual battery and was released on bail. Most Hamilton County schools will offer free lunch for everyone this coming school year. The school system has qualified for a federal program that will give taxpayer subsidized breakfast and lunch every day to all students in 47 schools, regardless of family income. That means parents can save up to $700 per year, and students will have more time to eat rather than waiting at a register. Officials also say the program has increased attendance at schools that offer it. You can find a full list of schools involved in the program at timesfreepress.com. A man has admitted to almost 70 burglaries all over Coffee County. 25-year-old Sean Michael Luce of Florida was caught June 19th after a foot chase. Now he's been riding along with police for weeks to point out locations he hit up. Some residents didn't even know they were victims. He remains in jail on a $300,000 bond. 
A couple married 33 years are separating so the wife can keep her health insurance. Linda and Larry Drain live in the East Tennessee town of Maryville. They're one of more than 100,000 Tennesseans caught in a coverage gap from the Affordable Care Act. Their household income is too little to qualify for a government subsidy to buy health insurance, and the state of Tennessee isn't expanding Medicaid. Linda has epilepsy and has to take expensive medication to prevent seizures, so she couldn't do without insurance. Meanwhile, Larry is making do without insurance and hoping the hernia he can't afford surgery for won't cause problems. Now they live two miles apart and are hoping the state of Tennessee will one day expand Medicaid. Finally, Taco Mac in downtown Chattanooga is closing for a major expansion. The restaurant will be adding much more space, a larger bar, and twice as many TVs. Owners say the redesign will also offer twice as much seating, accommodating up to 270 guests. The restaurant should reopen on July 21st and will feature a new abbreviated name. It's going from Taco Mac to T-Mac. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 90 degrees. The low tonight will be around 67. That's it for today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.